Now I'm gonna weld this uh, gusset on the bottom of it because that's sticking out there pretty far and obviously I've weakened it by uh, cutting this groove in it so the actuator arm could uh, extend to uh, close the gate. Um, and then I'll cut this end off over here, cut this end off over here on this little uh, um, horizontal bar. Uh, finish welding, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, tack weld, excuse me, weld, 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 and on the top, the bottom, um, and then down the side, and then down the side once those pieces are cut off, and then I'll finish burning all of this in, and I may weld a little gusset off of the bottom of that too, um, just to give us some support. Um, and then on this picket and maybe a couple of these other pickets, I'll put maybe a weld, a little spot weld on the back. Uh, just to add a little bit of strength. So that handles that part of it. Um, I uh, bought some brown paint for the uh, fence part over there, but it actually didn't turn out to be so bad. It's not a perfect match, but it'll, it'll blend a little bit better until they get the uh, powder coater out here and uh, paint. Um, the parts where we welded. Um, I have the uh, drilled a hole through the bottom of the uh, bracket. You can't see it. Bracket and drilled it all the way through so the uh, photo eye uh, cable will uh, not be exposed. And then I'm painting all of these brown temporarily uh, until they get uh, finished. And there's the box cover. Uh, until until we get some either some touch-up paint from the uh, powder coater or uh, they're just going to stay like that um, it blends a little bit better um, and then I've got some tabs cut off for a uh, stop plate on the gate I'm gonna weld it over here I'm gonna weld it on the gate right here and or somewhere around here probably match up with the uh, hinges over there we'll uh, weld that on here and uh, smooth it off and clean it up and then that'll uh, stop up against the uh, latch post uh, and then I'll put some felt pads on there to uh, to make sure that it's quiet I welded a gusset on this uh, support bracket for the actuator arm and then I welded a gusset on the support for the uh, front part of the arm and I'm cleaning that up and I just cleaned this up so uh, hopefully that'll help uh, it will help compensate for the big notch that I cut out right here so and then I got that all welded and then welded down there on the side and the back it was tough to get to I don't know if I should have mounted, mounted that box first but I did so um, that's what uh, a modified support bracket for LA 500 looks like I had to cut that notch out of there so the arm would go back and forth I've welded all the welded to all the pickets welded down the side welded all the pickets and then welded down that side and then I um, just put little tack welds all along the back to uh, help add support and then uh, you can see that I've added a gusset here too So those are pretty, pretty uh, inconspicuous, so you really won't notice them. Uh, but uh, I felt that it needed it for the support for a number of reasons. But okay, uh, so that's uh, part of the welding done. I'm going to brush this up, and uh, that all that all the welding part will be done on the gate uh, for the support arm. And then now I just need to weld a couple stop plates. Um, on the top and bottom of uh, the, the gate, the vertical part of the gate frame. Here's what the strap looks like cleaned up. Just brushed all the top of the welds and then smoothed the corners. Used a flap disc to clean up the edges. And then brush this under there as the best we could. And now uh, brush the welds on top. So that uh, is ready for some tape and uh, paint. The welds are cold now. 
here over here on the support arm bracket and the front uh, actuator arm bracket and I can go ahead and tape them off and paint them so I want to go ahead and get this painted before I get the arm on and uh, get that painted and then get this painted over here as well too this has got to cool down but man that uh, that powder coating really uh, contaminates the weld but uh, I smooth the weld off on the back over here and they can use some filler and if they want to use some filler up here as well too and then I just put a little bead on the front and then just smooth it off just in case uh, somebody does you know walk by um, that's why I put it on the gate as opposed to the uh, uh, latch post latch post it's always standing there and it uh, it could get caught on somebody's clothes if they decide to walk through this even though it's a a uh, vehicle gate not a pedestrian gate so i uh i've got that cleaned up and ready to go and just needs a little bit of tape and paint and we'll start back over here on the actuator cable